Hello students, welcome you all to the course of compiler design. Today's lecture we will be seeing about minimization of DFA. We all very well know DFA is deterministic finite automaton. When we say minimization, we mean that we are going to reduce the number of states in the given DFA. It is very much required to minimize the states in the DFA because it is going to directly contribute to the efficiency of the compiler that is going to be designed. Because in a language processor, every construct of the language will be taken in terms of a DFA. So the minimum number of states we have, the processing speed and all other factors are to be efficient. We will move on to see how this algorithm works. As I told you, the process of reducing a given DFA to its minimal form is called as minimization of DFA. And by minimization, we mean that it will contain minimum number of states. The DFA in its minimal form will be called as a minimal DFA. Now, there are many methods by which we can perform this minimization process. Some of the well-known methods are partitioning method, the equivalence theorem method and myhill nirod theorem. In theory of computation subject, we would have seen all these methods in detail. But since our concentration here is more on compiler design, we will be taking only one method and we will try to find the minimization of the DFA in this particular method, the partitioning method. Actually, all methods will give the same result. So we will take most uh, simple method and we will proceed. So in the partitioning method, there are six steps. We will follow the steps. In step one, we will remove all the states that are unreachable from the initial state via any set of the transition of DFA. And then the second step, we will draw the transition table for the obtained DFA. <clears throat> and in the third step, we will split the transition table into two tables, T1 and T2. T1 will contain all the final states and T2 will contain all the non-final states. Now, there is a concept of similar rows. How this happens is, supposing I have two transitions and over the same input symbol, if I am getting the same output state, then that are considered to be a similar row. So, in that case, the state Q or R, any one can be considered and the other one can be removed. In the fifth step, we will repeat this so that we find out all the similar rows in the table T1. And then we will do the same for table T2. Once we obtain T1 and T2, we will combine both the tables and the combined table will be the transition table for the minimized DFA. Don't confuse yourselves. We will take a simple example. As we go through the example, we will understand this algorithm much better. So we are given an example. The problem will be asked like this. Minimize the given DFA. So as you can see here, uh, there are n number of states. Can you tell me how many states are there in this particular DFA? You can just count the states. And also look into the factor of unreachable states. We so uh, told that in the step 1, we have to find the unreachable states. So we will start with the initial state. From Q0, am I able to go to Q1? Yes, there is an arrow here. And then from Q0, am I able to go to Q2? So this way, I will try to find out. Can you just go through and tell me? Can you keep uh, visualizing? I want you to find out the number of states and also the number of states or whichever state which I won't be able to reach. Am I able to reach all the states or there is an issue?
Yes, I hope you have found the answer. So the total number of states that are unreachable are 2. That is Q2 and Q4. Why? Because from Q0 we have an arrow to Q1. But to Q2 there is no arrow directly or even indirectly. The arrow is other way around. Similarly to Q3 we can go. We can come to Q1 and then go to Q3. But what about Q4? Again there is no root to Q4. From Q0. We have to always consider from the start state. I should be able to reach from Q0 to Q1, from Q0 to Q2, from Q0 to Q3, to Q4 and Q5. So that way I am able to reach only Q1, Q3 and Q5. Q2 and Q4 are unreachable states. Okay, so the first step was to find out what are all the unreachable states. So in this diagram Q2 and Q4 are not reachable. So we have to remove those two states. So once we remove those states, we will draw the transition table for the remaining states. Okay, so you can refer to the diagram and then draw the transition table. And in the transition table, we are very clear that Q3 is a final state, Q5 is a final state. All this we have taken from the transition diagram only, the given DFA. And Q0 is our initial state. Now the second step will be to draw the table that is what we have drawn. In the third step we have to divide the table into two tables non-final states and final states. So set 1 we have drawn the non-final states. Q0 and Q1 are non-final states. Q3 and Q5 are final states. So we have just split the table grouping the non-final states together in one table and final states in another table. Our next job is to find out similar states. Now in set 1 there are no similar rows. Had you been uh, and uh, in set 2 you had a similarity. So that is why we have replaced it. So Q5 was replaced. If you had seen in row 1 and 2, Q3 and Q5 over the state input symbol 0 and 1 have came to the same state. So that is why we have uh, replaced Q5 by Q3. And in step 6, it is to combine the T1 table and T2 table. Okay. So we have combined T1 and T2 and this is the table obtained. So this will be the final transition table for which we have to draw the DFA. So for this table we will draw the DFA. And this will be our minimized DFA. Okay students, I hope you understood the concept. In my next lecture, I will do one more problem in the same method for you to get more familiarity with the method. Thank you.